In a heartfelt address to the Gila River Indian community in Arizona, the U.S. president issued a profound apology for the historical injustices faced by Native Americans in government-run boarding schools. Biden characterized this dark chapter as one of the most horrific chapters in American history, a painful acknowledgement of the federal government's actions that forcibly removed Native children from their families and sought to erase their vibrant cultures. The echoes of the past resonate loudly, as a recent report unveiled the traumatic experiences endured within these institutions, which persisted from the early 1800s until the 1970s. Accounts of severe abuse, physical, mental, and sexual, paint a harrowing picture, compounded by the tragic loss of nearly a thousand children who never returned home. Biden's poignant words, I formally apologize as President of the United States, reflect a desperate striving for accountability, emphasizing that no apology can truly make amends for the pain suffered during these years of cultural genocide. Accompanying him was USA. Interior Secretary Deb Holland, a trailblazer as the first Native American cabinet member, who affirmed the resilience of Native cultures. Her sentiments resonated as she pointed out that despite the government's attempts, languages and traditions were preserved and flourished. This partnership signals a commitment under Biden's administration to invest in Native communities, expand tribal autonomy, and protect sacred sites, signifying a transformative shift toward honoring Indigenous peoples and their heritage. The significance of this apology extends beyond the U.S., aligning with a global movement recognizing historic abuses against Indigenous populations. Similar gestures in countries like Canada bring attention to the urgency for reconciliation and healing. Over 400 boarding schools once operated across the nation, where Native children faced a systematic attempt at cultural erasure through brutal assimilation policies, a chilling reminder that resonates with many even today. Ultimately, this landmark apology is more than a mere statement. It marks a crucial stride toward acknowledging and rectifying the wrongs inflicted on Native Americans. As Biden seeks to foster healing and unity, the road ahead will demand genuine commitment to transformative actions. Actions that ensure the voices of indigenous communities are not just heard, but respected in the ongoing narrative of progress toward an inclusive and just future.